Hello, I'm giving a quick talk at SF Scala, and this is a rehearsal for the talk. I thought I might record it in case anyone's interested. I'm showing some 3D graphics projects with processing and Scala. And the first is Image Push. This is a picture of an airplane cockpit, and the code goes through the pixels and moves them on the z-axis according to their brightness. Next, terrain. This uses something called Perlin noise, a kind of randomness, and triangle strips to make this uh, kind of simulation of flying over terrain. Next is Geo. This makes queries using a Google API to find uh, schools and stores. And then it looks up the elevation using a government API, web API. And then kind of plots them on this crude uh, space here. Nested rotating boxes is next. Here it is, and you can individually rotate on X, and you can add Y, you can add Z. I can turn on um, the cube numbers, so the one on the outside is cube number one, and then the number there is the um, rotation in radians. Cube of cubes is next. This is kind of fun and really not that complicated. One thing I like about uh, Scala is I can make this range and then use that in a four to have a nested nested loop over X, Y, and Z. Next is Spiral 3D. This was fun to learn how to do. I continue to develop my not so great math skills. There are several things that change randomly. The kind of uh, the depth of the, of the cone and the size of the boxes, colors. Next, diminishing dimensions. Points, well, not points really, they're uh, cubes. They look like points, they're drawn with cubes. They blow out into space, and then they coalesce onto a plane, and then that coalesces into a line, and then the line will shrink into a point. And then it'll start again. Okay, finally, S Pong. The idea here is that there's a ball bouncing around in a sphere, and we have paddles that are the shape of part of a sphere, and I move them around with the arrow keys. And um, so the green is the one I'm controlling, and the red one, if I continue this program will be the uh, computer controlled paddle. Uh, I can press F to turn off the filling and you can see how I drew the the paddle. It took a while to figure out because I had to use um, spherical coordinates. Um, but you can see I just make my own um, vertexes and then make shapes out of those and then I'm going to press F again here, and then they're filled. I can also increase the detail of the outer sphere here by pressing Shift D. So there are quite a few more triangles now, and a lowercase d. 
reduces the detail until eventually I think it'll go all the way down to that. Okay, so that's that. And let's look at the code briefly and see if there's anything in here we want to talk about. Scala Processing Applet is an abstract class I made that extends P Applet, which is something that comes with processing. And uh, I just added a few features to this that are helpful for a Scala program. Um, processing programs uh, running in Java or Scala have settings method, a setup method, and possibly a key pressed method, and then the draw method is where the drawing takes place. And we have the player paddle, the NPC, the non-player character paddle, and then this sequence of paddles. Uh, imagine in the future maybe this could be multiplayer, so there'd be a lot of paddles around. And then this makes the ball. And in the draw method, we move the origin to the center, draw the paddles, draw the arena sphere, draw the ball, move the player paddle, move the ball. And then down here are the methods that do the drawing and the moving. So for each paddle, push and pop the matrix, transformation matrix, and then rotate on Y and X to position the paddle around the sphere and then draw the paddle. And let's go and look at that. That's in another file. Here's where I plot these um, spherical vertex. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's a method in the, in the Scala processing applet that I made for this. Uh, so it takes a radius, a theta, and a phi, and then it turns that into spherical coordinates and then turns it into a vertex. Uh, so we end up with a bunch of vertexes around, uh, around a circle with nine of those rings. I'll um, just show it again without filling it. There. So do we have nine rings here? That's how that's made. Back to here. Let's draw paddles. Draw the arena sphere. Here's where the sphere detail comes in. And then here's where the ball is drawn. And the ball is drawn at a certain position inside that three-dimensional space. So we use translate to get to that position. And then we make it with a sphere. And for moving, we just look at the keys, left, right, up, and down. Move the, um, the player paddle. And then capital D and little d change the arena sphere detail and ball moving and bouncing. And then this is the companion object and this is what starts the, what starts processing and gives processing the name of our program. Okay, that's it. That's the end of my rehearsal. <laughs>